Howdy Keep Peeps! It's time for another Keep Product Release Report. First off, we want to send out good vibes to everyone and let you know that we're more committed than ever to help grow your business, even when things aren't quite business as usual. We'll be joined today by a bunch of other remote keepers. Whether on-site or remote, we're always committed to being part of your small business's success. We've got an absolute deluge of features, updates, upgrades, and bug fixes this month. But first, Keep CEO Clayton Mask has some important announcements for you. Hey everyone, Clayton Mask, co-founder and CEO of Keep. I want to share with you a brief message at the beginning of this monthly product release video. I know we're going through tough times. I know that people are dealing with a lot out there. And I know that uh, we'll make it. We'll get through this. I especially know that entrepreneurs will adapt. I love our community of customers and partners and, and employees here at Keep and for all that we do to help the economy to make it through tough times. Having run this business through two recessions in the past, I've watched this happen and it's amazing. Uh, it's amazing to see how entrepreneurs will adapt. Not only are entrepreneurs early adopters, they're early adapters. And I know that that will happen as we all work to serve our customers, serve our clients, those who count on us. So I also wanna share with you some things we're doing to serve you. These might have gone unnoticed, so I wanna make sure you're, you're aware of them. We announced several keep going programs to help entrepreneurs, help small businesses keep going, keep serving, and keep growing throughout tough times. First, we introduced the Keep Going Fund. That's $100,000 with $500 grants to small businesses who need help. Um, second, we created daily life cycle marketing webinars, our proven method of how we help small businesses grow, the strategy behind our software. We got away from teaching that for a while, but we got back to that and we've begun teaching it every day and those are free webinars that you can jump on. Third, we created office hours so that customers can call up our support team, not only for how-to questions, but to get some of that strategy help in growing their business using our software. Um, we also created automation hour, an automation hour. Every day we have an automation hour where you can learn some of the key things that you can do to automate your business. Obviously, you've got an amazing automation system in Infusionsoft or Keep, whichever version of our software you're using, and you can do more to automate, and we're here to help you do that. We've got a number of resources. Check out this landing page that we've created for you with these Keep Going programs. And now, let's check out this month's new release. Thanks, Clay. Now, for the March new product release report. We realize there are just too many new features for some of you busy folk out there, so feel free to jump to specific features in this video using the timestamps in the description. If you haven't clicked away already to watch specific features or to read some memes about toilet paper, we'll dive into our release report for Infusionsoft. Before we jump into it, we hope all you Infusionsoft users are enjoying the brand new UI update. First up, let's talk about getting paid. Both Infusionsoft and Keep users now have the power of Stripe on their side. With our new native Stripe integration, you can connect your existing Stripe account or create a new one directly in your app. A ton of our customers already love and use Stripe, and now they can do it straight from their Infusionsoft and Keep apps without using a third-party integration. Hi there, I'm Ernest. Let's take a quick look at Stripe in Infusionsoft and Keep. Our global customers love Stripe for its robust fraud fighting features and handling of high risk and international payments, making it easier than ever for your business to go global. Stripe allows your customers from all over the world, over 195 countries, to pay directly from your invoice or order form using major credit cards and debit cards. That's just so many countries. You might be interested to know that more than 80% of Americans bought something on Stripe in the last year. That's an awful lot of online shopping. And of course, with our Stripe integration, you don't have to shell out for third-party payment add-ons. Next up, Decision Diamonds. Hi there, I'm Michael. Let's talk about our updates to Decision Diamonds and hold on because there's a lot of them. These updates are available in Campaign Builder in Infusionsoft and Keypro. Decision diamonds are automatically added in the campaign builder when you have more than one possible outcome based on a contact's information. Our power users love decision diamonds, but in the past, they often become overly complex and time consuming. With this in mind, we've improved decision diamonds to save time and help you create campaign sequences more quickly and easily. The decision diamond builder has a new design that is cleaner and less clunky. Let's walk through some examples. 
Instead of recreating the same rules over and over, you can duplicate a rule set to save you time and just edit one part of it. For example, if you want to run a sequence that relies on several of your contacts' characteristics and behaviors, you would set up multiple rules in logic. With the new copy function in Decision Diamonds, you can create the first rule and then copy it multiple times and only need to edit the distinguishing criteria. You can import the rule from one sequence to another within the decision diamond by clicking on the three dots on the right side of the sequence box. This new feature helps save you time creating decision diamonds and reduces human error. You can now delete an entire sequence of rules instead of deleting each rule one by one. What a time saver. Else conditions enables decision diamond logic to run when contacts don't match the rules within a given sequence. Instead of creating a ton of rules, you can now simply select the else logic option. For example, you already created a communication sequence, but you still want to send a communication to those customers that don't match the rules you already set. Else conditions make this easy and save you a ton of time. You can now set decision diamond logic Logic to run if a field is empty so that you can follow up with your customers based on information that the contact record is missing. For example, you are trying to add a missing phone number in your contact record so you want to send an email to customers asking for said phone number. However, you only want to send this email if their phone number field is empty. Makes sense. With the new empty field logic, it is possible to set up this decision diamond with only one simple rule. Also, don't miss Grady Kerr's live webinar about decision diamonds on April 9th. You'll want to be there. Hi again! In addition to a brand new UI, we've made a bunch of functionality improvements to reports. Let's take a look. Campaign reporting. Now you can see the publisher for each of your campaigns right on your dashboard view. Email broadcast reporting. We've improved the existing email broadcast reporting functionality so you can better see who opened your email broadcast and identify your highest performing broadcast and most engaged customers. Opportunities reporting. We've added a saved search widget to create and save your opportunity searches and made it possible to use relative dates and search opportunities by company name. Orders reporting. Now it's easier than ever to find a customer you've sold to in the past with two new additional search columns in orders reporting. Now you can search by email and phone number. If you're a Keep user, we've got some pretty awesome stuff for you this month. What kind of stuff? How about Dun, da, da, da. Keep mobile on Android! Hi, I'm Dan. We know you've been asking and we're excited to finally announce Keep Mobile is available on Android. Just head over to the Google Play Store, download the Keep Mobile app and log in using your credentials. Keep Mobile helps you grow your business while you're on the go. You'll receive a free dedicated business line and features to stay connected with your customers such as appointments, SMS, and email. We've also added a few new ways to send quotes and invoices to your customers in Keep Web App. You can now send quotes and invoices through SMS straight from your desktop. SMS has higher open rates in email so you can get paid faster and book more clients. Next up, we're gonna make sure everyone knows exactly how awesome your business is. Hey there, I'm Tyson. Let's check out how Keep and Google reviews are pairing up to make your business grow faster than ever. Generating online reviews through your raving fans is one of the most fundamental parts of lifecycle marketing. If you want to boost your incoming leads, you need to make customer reviews an absolute priority. Increase your online findability and easily send tailored messages to current customers to request reviews. This type of review cultivation is critical for both local and global businesses. The new Google Reviews dashboard widget in Keep helps you boost your online reviews and see your progress without having to spend money on expensive plugins. To start using the new Google Reviews dashboard widget in Keep, from your home dashboard, click Try It Out in the Google Reviews widget. Search for your business name or create a brand new Google My Business listing. Now your dashboard widget will show your current Google review rating and the five most relevant reviews. You can easily request reviews from past and existing customers by generating a review link that is sent directly to your clients, or you can copy the link and share it in emails, text messages, or on your website. You can automatically ask your customers for reviews by including the Google Reviews link in pre-formatted email templates, or even in automation. By the way, here are some fun facts about online reviews. 97% of consumers read online reviews for local businesses, and 85% of consumers trust online reviews as much as personal recommendations. Up next, more from Google and Tyson. Like most of us, you probably have tons of contacts and info stored on Google, and I, for one, welcome our benevolent data collection overlords. But what if you need all that contact information on the Keep platform? That'd be an awful lot of repetitive work, and we are not fans of repetitive work, are we? Nope. Are we? No. Are we? Still no. Now Keep users can easily connect to their Google account and import Google contacts directly into Keep. 
This will save you a ton of time by not having to export and import using a CSV file. Check it out. Just go to your contacts on the dashboard, click the plus sign, select Google Cloud, sign in and click allow. Then select the contacts you want, click next, set the contact marketability status and you are ready to complete the process. Just click finish and you're good to go. Now let's run down some of the usability improvements we've made to keep this month. Because it's not enough to make awesome software, we want to make it more awesome month after month. We've got updates to contact records. Now they show email open status. To better target and engage your customers, you can now see whether a contact has opened an email. You can see this right in the contact report for easy tracking. This feature will be retroactive and show past email opens from your contacts. Next, we have global action buttons. As a Keep user, it can be annoying to go into an individual contact record in order to do common actions and tasks. The new Global Actions button on your dashboard allows users to add contacts, send text messages, create a task, send an email, or add a note to a contact record from anywhere in the Keep app. What else? How about easy access to lead forms? Now you can easily access and customize your lead forms in Keep by selecting the Lead Form option in Settings. From here, you can directly customize and edit your lead forms. Finally, we have cleaned up the Keep Integrations page so you can easily see and connect to all the possible Keep integrations. Now it's time for some quality updates. Since the beginning of the year, we've resolved over 200 bugs and known issues. Wow, that's a lot of bugs. For example, no more duplicate tags when you import your contacts. Well, I guess that's enough updates for now. Whew, that time just flew by, didn't it? Now it's recap time. The first quarter of 2020 was super busy. Here are some of the awesome features we released so far this year. In Infusionsoft and Keep, we introduced PayPal and Stripe as new payment processors, dynamic content and improved decision diamonds in Campaign Builder, responsive web forms, and a whole bunch of reporting and usability improvements. In Keep, we added new features to mobile and now have Android available. We also added Google reviews and contact imports. If you missed any of these updates, check out the previous release report videos linked below. For more information on this month's updates, please refer to the links and details in the description. As always, feel free to leave any questions or comments you might have in the section below. Before we leave, a couple of things. First is our fast fact of the month. The original name of our company was e Novasis, which was frequently mistaken for e Novasis. Very frequently, like even Clayt's mom got it wrong. Well, that's why pencils have erasers. As a treat for making it to the end of this super long video, here's an exciting sneak peek of what's to come next quarter. Don't forget to sign up for the live webinar on Decision Diamonds on April 9th with Grady. We are really excited for our Icon Conference for Keep Customers and Partners later this year. For more information, check out the website linked below. Well, that's it for now. Just remember to keep going, keep growing, and keep being awesome to each other. See you next time. Bye.